As the Democratic Republic of Congo entered a second day of voting, some candidates called for a fresh vote. Opposition leader Martin Fayulu criticized Thursday the organization of the December 20 general elections by the Electoral Commission. Not all Congolese who hold voter cards voted. Election materials did not arrive on time in all polling stations, including polling booths in Kinshasa. The electoral law is clear. Elections must be held on a public holiday or on a Sunday, and that the votes must take place during one day. What can be done is to extend the closing times or bring forward the opening time. The president of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Kadima, asked that voting be extended till today. However, this violates the electoral law and even doing so, many offices still do not have machines as of today in Kinshasa. So what should be done in such instances? What we are asking for is that everyone be able to vote. But till today, that is still not possible. Concerns are mounting that the logistical hurdles could affect the credibility of the results. The results of the 2018 election were contested, notably by Fayulu. He details this time his logic. Today, if you look at the results that are trickling in, I am in the lead. So winning elections isn't my concern. But what we want is that the law must be respected and the truth from the ballot box must come to light. If someone else wins and they can prove to us that they really won without any hindrance whatsoever, we will accept. We are not in the business of contesting for the sake of contesting. We are in the logic of upholding electoral law, upholding the constitution and upholding the right of every citizen. This is the logic that guides our action. 44 million Congolese were registered to vote. Citing its observers, the DRC's main Christian churches said 31% of polling stations didn't open on December 20, and in 41.5% of those which did, voting machines were dysfunctional, disrupting the vote.